Hey good people, welcome back to BKC Cooks. I'm Brandon Carpenter and today I'm doing my very first cook on the King Griller Gambler. So the Gambler is a portable charcoal grill. Uh, it folds up, has wheels, you can cart it around just like a cooler or anything. Great for camping, tailgating, things like that. Or just as your very first grill. So I'm going to be doing my very first cook. Char Griller sent one over to me and like, hey check this out for us and I got it to put together. I'm really excited about cooking on it because I think it's going to do some really cool things. So today I'm going to be doing my first cooking. I'm going to be doing some butterfly drumsticks. Uh, I'm just going to butterfly these, season them up, and get them grilling on that brand new grill. I'm pretty excited about how this is going to turn out. So I'm going to take you through the steps. It's going to be really, really simple. How I butterfly and season them up. More importantly, we're going to get cooking on this brand new grill. So let's get everything together and let's get to it. All right, so here's what we'll need. I've got 10 drumsticks here. You can do a lesser amount if you need. You could easily cut this in half, but uh, it was a big pack of 10, so that's what I'm doing. I've got some adobo seasoning. I have garlic powder, onion powder. I have some paprika, black pepper, and I've got... Uh, some fresh rosemary and thyme that I had laying around my fridge. So I'm going to get these stripped off, chopped up, and I'm going to use some of these as well. And I'm going to have just a little bit of olive oil. Just a touch. I don't need a whole lot because that uh, chicken skin is going to have quite a bit of fat on it. This is just to make sure that we don't have anything sticking to the grill. So we're going to get this put together and get grilling. Okay, we're going to start by butterflying these uh, chicken legs. So, uh, I'm going to find the part that is got the most skin. See how the skin comes all the way to the top. So, I'm going to go on the opposite side of that. And I'm just going to take my knife and just go straight down. And down to the bone. And you're going to come on either side of the bone here. And go around the side. Just want to get this to lay nice and flat. There's a little tendon here. I'm going to cut through that. So this is laying out nice and flat. And then on the other side, our skin is nice and intact. That'll brown up really nicely. So I'm going to butterfly all of these that I have, and I'll get them all seasoned up. All right, now we got a big pile of butterfly chicken. Let's get these things seasoned up. We're going to start just a little bit of olive oil on each one, just a few drops. I'll give that a good rub. Then we'll come in with our seasonings. Get our adobo. garlic powder onion powder pepper 
paprika to give nice color and flavor. Black pepper, fresh cracks of course. And then last, a little mix of herbs. Sprinkle some on each one. And then we'll turn these over and do them the same way. So we'll finish seasoning up uh, these drumsticks and we'll go get the grill lit. We'll be grilling before you know it. Let's go. I did end up adding uh, another handful to kind of make sure that everything was even, so we'll let those calm down a bit, get the grates on, and get the grill Using my height heat gloves here, make things a lot easier. I season those grates in the oven. Um, the instructions recommend that you do so, so that's what I did. And they are nice and seasoned. Should be pretty non-stick, because uh, I did several coats the way they uh, recommend it. So again, I'm gonna let this fire do its thing and let those grates heat up and we'll be grilling chicken. All right, so I got these skin side down because so I want to make sure that skin is nice and crisp. You know, we butterfly these, so these are going to cook up pretty fast. Uh, but I want to make sure that the bulk of my heat is on that skin. We'll get it nice and crisp. So I'm going to let these rock out. I'm going to check them in about uh, three or four minutes. Put the uh, lid down. Check them in about three or four minutes and see what we're looking at. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's check one of these out here. Yeah, these are cooking up nicely. Gonna check them. Flip the ones that need to be flipped.
All right, back down. Pretty happy with it so far. It's cooking up nice, holding temps good. Can't wait to see the final product. All right, y'all, I think these are about done. I'm gonna get some uh, temperatures on these real quick, but I'm pretty sure they're just about done. Yes, these are ready, and they look amazing. I mean, look at that, nice and crispy, juicy. So we'll get these pulled off, get them inside, and get ready for the taste test. Let's go. All right, y'all, they're off the grill. It's time for the taste test. These came out really, really nice. I'm really happy with the way they look. And I think they're going to taste great, so let's see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not crispy. Juicy. Great taste. That's really good. juicier than I thought. That little grill did a really good job. Again, it held the temperatures great. It didn't flare up on me one time. Um, again, as you can see, did a great job of crisping these up. Great grill flavor. That's real good. You know what? Picked up a new sauce. It's called Lip Smackers. Here from Texas. Been wanting to get us a try, so. Let's see what it does on this chicken. They name that appropriately. <laughs> so this is their original. I think they have a spicy and maybe a couple other different varieties, but you should definitely check them out. Lip Smackers, I found this at, uh, of course, H-E-B, best grocery store in the world. Y'all come see me, H-E-B. We can do big things. I'm the man for it. But in all seriousness, uh, this sauce is really good, y'all. And again, I believe it's local. Lip Smackers is what it's called. You should definitely check it out. But back to the grill. Um, I gotta say, for such a small little package, it does pretty good work. Uh, I have to recommend it. Uh, especially if you want something portable. Again, you can fold that thing down. Has wheels on it. You can just pull it around like a cooler or anything else you have on wheels. But even if you're just starting out, uh, it's a great grill to get started on. You can control it pretty well because it has two dampers. They really help you with your temper control, temperature control and airflow. Uh, or even if you just have a small space, you can fold that thing up when you're not using it. You can tuck it away. Or if you have a small apartment, something like that. If you're uh, in an RV or a van or something, again, it doesn't take a ton of space. If you've got a little bit of storage, I think it would be a really good option. And of course, for tailgates, camping, things like that, it's a no-brainer. And uh, you don't see very many charcoal grills that... Um, can really really cook the way the big ones do in such a small package so again I definitely recommend it so that's gonna do it for this y'all uh, again great results it's so juicy it's slipping out of my hand uh, great results 
can't say enough good things about that grill. So I do thank y'all for watching. I wish good eating to y'all. And I'm telling y'all, stop being scared. Put something on that grill. Get in that kitchen. Get to cooking. Let's go. I'll see y'all next time.